Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for dnnhero.com on how to install .NET Nook on your desktop computer. Now let's download .NET Nook installation and I'm here on .NET Nook website, .NET Nook .com. Uh, From here, I will have to log into the website and I'm assuming that uh, you will have created an account with .NET Nook .com already. So, go to my username password, log into the website. Once I log in successfully to the .NET Nook website, I'll go to download, scroll down and click download community. We're going to use the uh, open source version of uh, .NET Nook, which is the community edition. Click download community. Then we're going to select the install package. Here, there are a couple of uh, different packages, but we're gonna select the, the, the installation package. And I'm gonna save it to my local computer. So here's my installation package that I have just downloaded. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna cut the installation package. I'm gonna go to the root uh, of my computer and to the inetpub folder and to the www root folder. Here's where you should be using IIS at this point to, to run your web server. So here we're going to create a folder that will uh, host the site files of, uh, of the DNN installation. I'm going to call it DNN5 Two, three, which is the DNN version. I'm gonna paste the installation package. So I'm gonna extract the installation files here in this folder. Once the installation files are extracted, then I can, I no longer need the installation package. I can just delete it. Now we're gonna set up this folder this new folder that we have created under www.root as an application under IIS. And for the purpose of this demonstration, this tutorial, uh, I'm running a Windows Vista. So I have opened IIS. Now I'm going to create an application. Add application. I'm going to call it DNN 523. And the physical path will be the folder that we have just created under anetpub www.root dnn523 okay okay so IIS is configured now I'm gonna close IIS now and now I'm gonna load SQL Server 2008 Express Edition that I have installed on my desktop as well so I have opened a SQL Server Management Studio from um, SQL Server 2008 Express Edition. I'm going to create the database that will host the database for our new site. Open database, new database. I'm going to call it DNN523. Then click OK. So the database is created and it's, it's empty, of course, because once we get the installation running, then the installation will take care of creating all the necessary, the required tables in our empty database that we have just created. Now I'm going to close SQL Server 2008 Express and I'm going to open the local website that we have just set up under IIS so it can run the installation process. So here, the installation, this is the first screen of the installation process. We're gonna keep uh, selected typical installation, then we click next. Here, uh, the installation process will check for permissioning uh, problems in terms of the site files. Just make sure that you don't have any problems at this stage. You can go back to the folder that we have created under www.root, our application folder, DNN523, and we can set the permissioning of that folder by right-clicking the folder, going to Properties. Under Properties, we 
go to security tab. On the security tab, we go to edit and then we click on add. And depending on which uh, OS you are using, if it's Vista, if it's XP, Windows 2000, what you need to do is you need to add a security account called ASP net if it's uh, Vista in 2000 or network service if it's uh, Vista uh, upwards so click on check name hit OK I'll give to this account full control of the folder click OK click OK again and the permission for the folder is, is, is done now let's go back to our wizard so again it's already saying that uh, the site has passed the permission checking so we click next so now we're gonna set up the database connectivity uh, the default option selected is uh, SQL Server 2005-2008 Express file uh, we're, not, we're not gonna use this one because we have set up the database the empty database in SQL Server Express we're gonna choose the second option then the database name which will be DNN523 we're not going to use integrated security we're going to enter the account information that uh, that we use to access the database in my case I, I, I'm using SA so you you must have a, an SA password as well or the user that uh, you have set up the database under You don't need to set up anything other object qualifier, you can leave that empty. And you click next. So here you can see the installation is getting started. It's running the scripts, it's creating the database. Okay, so it says that it's completed. Let's click next again. Now you're gonna set up the host account. You can set the host name, I'll leave it as host, the host password. Keep a note of that. For now, you don't need to set up the SMTP information and we can leave that for, for later. We can always set this up later on. Click Next. Now we are prompted to set up the admin account. Once again, keep track of the password. We can set up the email address as well. You can leave portal title as my website for now. We can always change that later. Click next again. Okay, now we are prompt with a congratulations message here. Um, let's click on finished, go to the site. Now we can see that the site is up and running on my desktop. So just a quick recap, we have installed DNN 523 in uh, my desktop and the requirements uh, that uh, you must meet to install .NET Duke on your desktop is you have to have IIS and you have to have IS which is uh, Internet Information Services you need to have SQL Server 2005 or 2008 Express to be able to install on your desktop Okay, this is it for now. Thanks.